thirsty nuns, thirsty brides, sword fights, and uh, milking? Y'all need Jesus. Hi, Popcorn Recap here. Today, we'll talk about a 2007 comedy movie called Virgin Territory. Before we start, be sure to like the video, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you dig the summary to support the channel. Learning the consequences of being a thief, Tindaro chooses the next best thing and joins the church as an artist. He likes painting bums on angels. Where do I sign up for this job? He recalls that one day, the plague changed everything. A group of men chases after Lorenzo, who just went against Herbino de la Rata, a sore loser. Lorenzo gets cornered by Herbino's men on a wall, but he beats them and threatens Herbino as he leaves. The next day, he leaves flowers for Pampinea, a girl born into ridiculous wealth. Later, Gino and Janeo warn Lorenzo that Herbino's waiting for him at his house and tells him to escape. Lorenzo hugs them, rides the horse they prepared for him, and escapes. Meanwhile, Tindara realizes he won't get paid because the priest is dead due to the plague, so he pretends to be a priest. You know, to live amongst the beautiful nuns, of course. Later, Herbino offers his sympathy to Pampinea, whose parents died because of the plague. Since Pampinea is marrying Count Zerzinski, Herbino tells her he paid all her father's debts and she must marry him instead. He gets on his knees, asks her to marry him, and kisses her hand. Creepily, of course. Meanwhile, Lorenzo outwits his pursuers and meets a cart pusher carrying a dead handicapped gardener. The cart pusher tells him that the road leads to the convent, so Lorenzo rides away as his pursuers chase after him. Lorenzo hides in a tree and outwits his pursuers again, but the branch breaks and he falls unconscious. Later, nuns approach him and bring him inside the church. As he sleeps, they comment on his good looks and decide whether they should remove his clothes to check for broken bones. Wink wink, these nuns do be thirsty sometimes. Afterward, they kiss his belly and mouth for religious purposes, of course. Can someone send these nuns to horny jail? Suddenly, he wakes up and the abbess arrives. He pretends he's deaf and dumb so the sisters think he's a fallen angel, and they take him to the bathhouse to be cleaned. As he bathes, the nuns grow thirstier and clean him. Damn, Anakin, you really were the chosen one. Meanwhile, Pampinea meets with Filomena and Melissa with Kino and Joneo in tow. Pampinea tells the girls they could escape the plague in her father's house in the country, because that's where she'll marry Count Zerzinski anyway. Herbino overhears this and starts a fight with Lorenzo's buddies. However, Tindaro stops them, pretending to be a priest. Herbino threatens him but Pampinea asks if Lorenzo is still alive. Herbino tells her to consider him dead and leaves. Later, Pampinea goes to a convent to escape Herbino and wait for her Russian count. In wanting to preserve her virginity for marriage, she hangs out with the nuns, thinking it'll rub off on her. But you know, these nuns. From afar, Pampinea sees Lorenzo, who's now the convent's deaf and dumb gardener. While tending to the gardens, a nun calls for Lorenzo and Pampinea sees this and feels jealous. Count Zerzinski arrives in Florence and meets Herbino, who introduces himself as Pampinea soon to be betrothed. Count D insults Herbino, leaves, and meets a servant who gives him instructions to Pampinea's whereabouts. He rides away, hoping to see his betrothed. In the convent, two nuns initiate sex with Lorenzo so he shrugs, thinking it's another day in the office. Meanwhile, while riding on a cart, super horny Filomena brags to Melissa that she and Joneo haven't had sex yet. Though equally horny, Joneo agrees while he and Gino follow them on foot. Suddenly, the two get called by two women who ask them to sample fresh milk products back on their farm. Thinking it's code for sex, the two follow them only to end up squeezing milk from a cow. In a sexual way, of course. Horny Filomena hears this from a mile away for some reason and catches Joneo. She confronts him about the weird thing they were doing and promises not to have sex with him forever as punishment. I hope no cows were emotionally disturbed in the making of this film. In the convent, Pampinea learns Lorenzo is having sex with the sisters, so she gets really jealous and pours water over his head in the bath. Meanwhile, Count D, who's on his way to Pampinea, gets ambushed by Herbino's men. The Count shoots Herbino's right-hand man, killing him, so Herbino becomes envious of the gun and wants it. The men go after the Count, or the gun for that matter. While on a break from their journey, Joneo gets a sex dream and moans loudly so Filomena pours water on him angrily. What the heck is going on with this movie? Back in the convent, a bad mix of thirst and jealousy, Pampinea approaches Lorenzo, blindfolds him, and kisses him. She leaves, leaving Lorenzo confused, maybe even a tad bit horny. Meanwhile, Filomena tries to comfort a sulking Joneo in the forest. She tells him that she loves him and forgives him for his, uh, beastly desires. Suddenly, the two get heated and Joneo gets an erection. Filomena, completely oblivious to sex education, feels offended so she scolds him. Suddenly, bandits arrive to capture them. At the bandit camp, the oiled up Alessandro Feliz also holds Melissa hostage. Alessandro tells them he's going to sell them as sex slaves in Africa. Filomena becomes terrified of their situation, but Melissa concocts a plan. At night, Melissa enters Alessandro's shag palace and dances for him with a pole while making sex references using Roman mythology. Alessandro doesn't know this, of course, but nonetheless, he's horny af. Filomena, on the other hand, is ordered to wear a dress when suddenly, she sees Melissa walking back in frustration saying Alessandra just wanted to look. Later, Filomena and Melissa entertain the bandits. They hold the contest for who has the biggest wiener, and the bandits foolishly comply. Melissa and Filomena put them in a line, smallest to biggest, and ask who should go first. The bandits argue and eventually a fight or a sausage party breaks. While everyone's distracted, Gino frees the others but they're intercepted by Alessandro, who's quickly knocked unconscious by the cart driver. The group escapes into the night. In the convent, Pampinea learns that the Count had arrived in Florence which means she had to leave Lorenzo with the thirsty nuns. Out of spite, she tells the abbess that Lorenzo isn't actually deaf and dumb. 
Later, Lorenzo gets woken up by the abyss, threatening that a butcher will cut his willy so he screams and reveals his voice. Still trying to wing it, he pretends it's a miracle, however, he is thrown out of the convent shortly after. Meanwhile, Count D drinks from a river when suddenly, he sees Melissa taking a bath. She jokes that she's an enchantress of the pool and that she's on her way to a wedding. Completely enchanted, Count D thinks Melissa is Pampinea. She approaches him, enchanted by his Russian noble looks, and kisses him. Meanwhile, Pampinea meets an exiled Lorenzo and tells him she's getting married and on her way to the ceremony. You crafty minx. Lorenzo follows her and volunteers to be her escort. In the convent, Tindaro arrives and meets the abbess. She offers him a bath. Meanwhile, after arriving at the location, Lorenzo begins to leave as he thinks Pampinea is really getting married. However, she asks him to stay. While they're having dinner, Lorenzo tells Pampinea that he fell in love with a nun who blindfolded and kissed him. Pampinea asks him how he'll find her since she's in the convent, and asserts that he forget about her, but Lorenzo is adamant that he found his true love. Later, Pampinea challenges Lorenzo to kiss her so he could forget about his dream girl. Just before they kiss, Herbino arrives so Pampinea tells him to run, but Lorenzo doesn't budge and even threatens Herbino. Herbino knocks Lorenzo into a fountain and proceeds to attack him with his sword. Unarmed, Lorenzo could only avoid his attacks. On the brink of getting whacked by Herbino, Pampinea intervenes and threatens not to marry Herbino if he kills Lorenzo. Lorenzo is shocked to hear that she's marrying Herbino and he becomes angry. Herbino puts him in a prison. Meanwhile, Herbino tells Pampinea that Lorenzo is a lot of trouble but she's not convinced. She walks dangerously on a large well's edge so Herbino orders her to come down so she won't fall in. She negotiates with Herbino and asks him to release Lorenzo in exchange for marrying him so he accepts the deal. Later, two of Herbino's henchmen meet Tardino on his way to the wedding so they just accept that he'll be the priest. Later, Pampinea releases Lorenzo, asking him to leave before Herbino changes his mind. Herbino arrives with Tardino in tow and tells Pampinea that the priest wants to hear their confession first. In the confession, Pampinea confesses that she wants to marry Lorenzo and bribes the priest to delay the wedding for as long as he can. Lorenzo is escorted out by Herbino's henchmen as Pampinea watches from the balcony. Meanwhile, Herbino confesses to murdering a lot of people that he lost count of. Tardino tells him that to redeem himself for eternal salvation, he must abstain from all sexual thoughts and sexual deeds for 30 days. Herbino protests, saying he's just about to get married. However, Tardino convinces him it's required to make him realize his mistakes. Later, Lorenzo punches the henchman and suddenly meets Count D, looking for Pampinea's place. The two head in the same direction. The wedding ensues and Tardino asks the couple to be routine questions. However, Herbino is being difficult so Tardino scolds him. Tardino asks if Herbino bathed and he insists that he did, but Tardino is having none of it. He probes Herbino if he really took a bath and washed all his, uh, parts. Tardino proceeds to shame him for having dirty fingernails and claims he cannot marry them while he has dirty fingernails. He orders Herbino to wash his hands before they proceed with the ceremony. Frustrated, Herbino does it anyway. Tardino stalls the wedding as he sees Count D from afar. Fed up with Tardino's antics, Herbino takes his sword and orders him to proceed with the ceremony, so he declares them man and wife quickly. However, Count D announces his arrival and challenges Herbino who runs away at the sight of his gun. Meanwhile, Lorenzo arrives. Lorenzo kicks one guy and takes a swing to get rid of the other. He takes Pampinea and they run. Tardino takes a piece of stick and beats up the henchman with it. Pampinea reaches the upper floor with Herbino at her tail. He orders his men to grab her, but Lorenzo intercepts and like a true Jedi, beats the men. Meanwhile, Count D challenges Herbino in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Count D manages to disarm him and threatens to kill him, but Lorenzo stops him, claiming he has some unfinished business with Herbino. Count D doesn't like the idea though, so Lorenzo throws a coin into the well to decide. For some reason, Count D thinks Lorenzo won so he hands Herbino to him. The two fight on the well's edge but Herbino is afraid of heights so he hesitantly charges at Lorenzo. Completely outclassed, Herbino is given a choice by Lorenzo to jump instead of getting killed by him or the Count but Herbino attacks him instead. Meanwhile, Tardino and Pampinea watch the fight on the upper floor. Lorenzo beats Herbino who loses balance and falls into the well. Count D and Lorenzo victoriously hug. Tardino tells Pampinea that he's not really a priest so she's not really married. Later, Count D approaches Pampinea and kneels before her, asking her to marry him. However, she tells him she cannot marry him. Confused, Count D asks about the things that happened to them, but Pampinea doesn't know anything and removes her veil. Count D realizes Pampinea is not the woman he fell in love with when suddenly, Melissa approaches them. Count D sees her, declares his love for Melissa, and kisses her. Filomena arrives with Janeo in tow and asks what happened to the wedding. Pampinea asserts there will be a wedding but she can't find Lorenzo, who suddenly disappeared. Pampinea runs outside to see Lorenzo leaving. She stops him and confesses, but Anakin here is still hung up from the blindfolded kiss so he rejects her. To convince him, Pampinea asks him to close his eyes as she kisses him. Lorenzo realizes it was her all along and they can finally be together. Tindara plans on going back to the convent because the abbess is waiting for him. Pampinea asks Lorenzo to close his eyes again, but he tells her that she should close hers. They kiss with both their eyes closed. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.